Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Tina. How are you doing today? I feel this is gonna be my last video of today. I feel tired. I will gonna continue tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, the last um, module I'm gonna talk about today, or oh, 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 the only the second module, is to, is a path. So path is what? Path is a, uh, it will contain, is a module which contains utilities to help you resolve file or directories paths. Okay. The problem, let me show you. Suppose, okay. Suppose, let's give one example. Okay. Suppose here under the FS, uh, I needed to have a folder A, okay, and have a folder B, and under A and B, I have a file called uh, index.js, okay? <coughs> oh, sorry, 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 no, 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 delete. Okay, code, uh, hello dot txt and now this one is uh, hello or oh, good night okay see you tomorrow okay. and now i want to read this file so how to do that as we did before uh, what i want to do is just a uh, copy here okay so here we have to give a pass to this folder right and uh, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, like uh, uh, Windows. So the Windows is using backslash. See if it works. Okay, I have never done directly before. So here we are on. See here we are under the when we this file is AppJS. AppJS is under FS. So we have to go to A and go to B then in order to find the hello, right? So we will go to A and go to B, see if this one works, okay? Then hello.txt, okay? And uh, let me uh, comment, uh, let's just, let me comment to others. I just do like this one should be fine. Node app. Add something here. So we will know, okay, okay, D run, you will see, good night, see you tomorrow, being here. Okay, so which means everything works perfectly. The problem, uh, not perfectly, everything works, we can say. But the problem is if we run this application in Mac or in Linux, where this path work? Because sometimes using slash, some like a Linux might be using backslash. So in this case, you have to change the source code if you want to run in different environment, in different uh, different operating system, which is not a nice, right? We shouldn't for this kind of thing. We shouldn't change our source code. And a, uh, a better way to do that like this is using a path. Which is a core module provided by what? Knowledge is very good. So here I have a path. Okay, then here you can use it. path dot join. Okay. Uh, DRR name, which is the current directory. And uh, another th string is this one. And uh, by doing that, path or jo join will return the absolute uh, uh, file. Oh, sorry, absolute path to this file. And we, t we are also coding your different op operating system to change this uh, syntax for the path syntax for you. So you don't need to worry about uh, the different op operating system. Okay, so let's see if everything works. You will still see good night. Uh, not this one. This one. Uh, this uh, yes. This one. 
Good night. See you tomorrow. So when you working with the pets, we highly um, uh, we highly recommend you to using path and to using the re utility methods inside this path module. Okay. And another thing here, you might wonder what is the DRNM? What it is? Do you remember uh, in Node, it will have a wrapper step. In the wrapper, it's actually using a function to wrap on our code, right? In wrapper, it has a DRR name, right? That's why we can use in the directory name this variable here. Uh, if you don't understand, let's go back, review a little bit. We wrapper here. Do you remember here we have a DRR name? That's why you can directly using this variable. You can also using the file name, and all of them are available, okay? Because of the wrapper. So uh, it also pass also has other APIs. Uh, you can take a look at uh, the online documentation to learn by yourself. Okay, that's it for uh, this video, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.